Holly Hall, the sports editor for the Democrat Gazette, wrote a column that insinuates Houston not as blame the media for a poor signing class. In that column, he says, so it was not Houston Nutt's fault that his latest recruiting class ranked number nine in the SEC. According to him, it was the media's fault. Well, no one in the media was continuously rude to Gus Malzahn. No one in the media promised Malzahn and every Razorback fan that there would be a passing game, and no one in the media overruled Malzahn's play calling. Also, no one in the media tried to hire David Lee as co-offensive coordinator behind Malzahn's back, this after a 10-win season. No one in the media had anything to do with Malzahn's decision to quietly leave the U of A, take a cut in pay, and go to a smaller school. Now, Hall then listed several other issues he said the media had no control over, but the story doesn't end there. Because after reading this column, Coach Houston Nutt fired back by calling in to a radio talk show in Little Rock, which is co-hosted by Mr. Wally Hall. For more on what was said, we bring in Razorback Nation Sports Director Bo Mattingly, who is live on the phone in Baton Rouge, where the Hogs face the Tigers tomorrow. And Bo, this story doesn't look like it's going to end. Yeah, it just seems like a different piece or a different part is coming up once a week or so. And in this case, it happens because Houston Nutt calls a radio station, an impromptu phone call. Sources close uh, to the situation say they were a little surprised to hear from Houston Nutt in this interview. Wally Hall, as you mentioned, part of it. David Basil, Tommy Smith hosting the show on 103.7. And here's just part of the interview. No one, no one blame the media. No one. We've been eighth, ninth, tenth in the SEC in recruiting for a while. The other thing is this. There's no one that was rude to Gus Malazar. No one. Never had been rude. Uh, David Lee, that, that hiring was done exactly right after the Capital One. You know, Wally hadn't talked to me about any of this. He's got it from somebody, either on the Internet or somebody's mother, who's been disgruntled. Let me tell you something now, Wally. Not one time have I ever told Gus Malzahn not to run the hurry-up offense. Not once. Not one time. What I did tell him was this. I want you to get the ball to Darren McFadden. I want you to get it between 25 and 30 times. Do anything you want to do, but I want to make sure he touches it 25 to 30 times. Sources uh, close to Gus Malzahn tell me tonight that they uh, do not agree with Houston Nutt's comments today at all. They believe something different happened. As for Malzahn himself, he's not willing to talk about it at this point. He said he's not ready to comment. Uh, when he was hired, he said, quote, I am what I am. We will run the hurry up, no huddle at times. Of course, we only saw it a little bit in that Southern Cal game in the opener. Again, I'm also told that Malzahn was not aware of David Lee possibly becoming a co-coordinator until after he had learned of Houston Nutt's conversations with Lee and then approached Coach Nutt about it. Matt? Bo, other evidence, Houston Nutt said that he told Gus Malzahn pretty much he could do whatever he wanted in terms of the offense. I have in front of me, though, the Hurry Up No Huddle book, which is written by Gus Malzahn. And, Bo, there's a quote in there where Gus talks about his offense, his belief, and, and really why he wouldn't want to do anything other than the no huddle. So what's going on here? Gus believes in this offense. Houston says he can run it, but he doesn't. Well, it really just depends who you talk to, and because Gus is not willing to speak publicly, we have to go on what Houston Nutt has said, and that is that when coming on campus, Gus realized he couldn't run the hurry-up, no huddle. There was also talk in the beginning of the season, or the early part of it, that the time of possession was critical because the defense had to be on the field too long. So really, it continues to be a fanning of the flames when Houston Nutt comes out and publicly continues to address something that they, uh, I thought, wanted to just go away. This, another piece to the puzzle that will continue to be debated over the next several weeks as the fallout of two football players, an assistant coach leaving, an athletic director speaking at a banquet, and now Houston Nutt calling a radio station. All right, Bo, thanks for that report. We'll have much more tonight in your Razorback Nation. And this